Adventure Club, and hopefully some of our future adventures. <laughs> okay, so I can tell you guys already know what's happening this weekend and this Monday. Everybody's dressed up so beautiful for Christmas, and that's what my story is going to be about. Maria lived in a small village in central Mexico, and where she lived, there wasn't electricity, there wasn't even running water. So her mom would cook outside, and if they wanted to take a bath or have water to drink, Maria would go out and pump the water for the day. But you know what? All Maria's neighbors, all of her friends lived the same life, so she didn't know any difference. It was fine. They all had to pump water. They didn't have electricity, and she had a wonderful life. She lived in a small three-room house with her mother and her sister and her brother and her abuela, and they had a lovely life together. Mom would sell tacos in town, and this is how she made her living. And now that Maria was getting older, not only did she help around the house, but her favorite thing to do after school would be to run to mom's taco stand and help her make tacos. She loved it so much. And while she did it, she could hear music being played over in the town square. Oh, she loved music. She loved it so much that when she got home afterwards, she'd be a little sad because she couldn't hear the music anymore. And again, remember, they had no electricity, so no TVs or computers to find music on, no cell phones. Maria wanted more than anything for this Christmas was a wind-up radio. This is a special radio that if she wound and wound and wound it, it would magically play all this beautiful music that she would hear in town. Oh, that's what she wanted so badly with her whole heart. And Maria was so good. She did everything mommy asked without ever complaining or saying, I don't want to do that. And so Maria just knew. She knew with all her heart she was going to get this little hand wind-up radio for Christmas. Well... Christmas weekend came, and she was so excited. She was outside playing with her friends, and they were playing with this worn-out soccer ball, but that didn't matter. They were having so much fun, and she was excited because her aunties and her uncles and her cousins were all going to come over, and they were going to open their gifts and have tamales and sopa and all kinds of yummy, yummy food that she looked forward to all year long. And sure enough, Evening came, and she raced back inside with her siblings, and they looked at the little gifts under the tree. Everybody had just one with their name on it. Oh, she couldn't wait, but first they ate their food, they sang Christmas carols, and finally the time came. It was time to open those gifts. She looked at her package over there. She knew she was older, so she had to wait for her little sister and her little brother to open theirs first, and her younger cousins, and she kept that beautiful red package over there with that big blue bow. <gasps> it's that radio. I just know it is. Finally, the time came where Uncle gave her her gift. Okay, Maria, it's your turn. And she grabbed the package, and as soon as she held it in her hands, her heart sank a little bit because she could feel it was kind of soft. And she didn't mean to make that face. She didn't mean to make it look like she was sad about the soft gift, but it kind of showed up anyways. And she carefully opened the gift, and inside was the softest green sweater she'd ever felt. And it was so warm and so beautiful. And she smiled and, thank you, Mama. It, it's so perfect. Thank you. She put it on, and it was so snugly and warm. She went on enjoying the rest of her evening with her family. As she went to bed that night, her mother came over, and she gave her a special kiss, and she said, Maria, I know how much you wanted that radio, and I wanted to get it for you, but I also know you really needed a sweater. You've been looking cold lately, and I wanted to make sure you had something warm this winter. You grew out of your sweater from last year and had to give it to your sister. Maria said she understood, and she hugged Mama. But inside, she still felt a little bit sad about it. But then suddenly, that night, as she lay in her bed, ooh, there was an extra cold chill in the room. And her little blanket just wasn't warming her. And then suddenly, she opened her eyes, and she looked up. 
And over on the chair was her beautiful new sweater, just kind of hanging over. So she tiptoed out of bed, and she put that sweater on, and oh, Mama was right. Oh, this sweater kept her so, so warm. A radio could never do that. And the next morning, when she woke up wearing that nice warm sweater, all comfy, she almost didn't want to get out of bed. But there was a knock at the door. And who was it but her friend Rosa? Rosa had received a special package from her cousins in the United States. It was a big box, and it had been filled with gifts and clothes. And Rosa said, we can't use all these clothes, so Mama told me to bring some to you guys. And inside, there was a sweater just her brother's size and a beautiful dress for her little sister. And for Maria, a pair of jeans that fit perfect. She went in, she put on the jeans, put on her sweater. She was warmer than she had been in weeks, and she hadn't even noticed how cold she had been until that moment. She went outside, and she played with the new soccer ball that her friend Rosa had gotten for Christmas, and they had the best day ever. And when she came back inside, Mother gave her another hug and said, I'm sorry again about the radio, but now she looked up, and Maria said, No, Mama, Mama, I love my gift. I haven't been this warm in weeks. Oh, thank you so much. Because you know what? Maria wanted that radio, but God and her mother knew better. They knew she needed that sweater. This Christmas, we might not get everything we have on our wish list, but we will have everything we need because God has promised to provide us with our needs. He tells us all throughout the Bible about that, but my favorite verse that tells us is found in Philippians 4.19. And a lot of us as adults have it memorized because it's such a beautiful verse. It says, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in the glory by Christ Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? The Lord, he owns everything. Everything is his, and he can give it to us. And sometimes we think, well, why can't I have that radio? Why can't I have that dolly? Why can't I have these things, Lord? If you have everything, why don't you give me these things? And he says, because I know what you need. And so... This Christmas, when you open your gifts, I hope you're happy with what you get. But I hope you remember even more so, God's already given you everything you need in his son Jesus who came as a baby. Isn't that wonderful? And now I have something small to give to you guys to open, just like Maria. It won't be what you wished for this Christmas. It might not be what you want, but I hope it reminds you that you are loved and cared for. Thank you. Thank you.